Hi, so you want to do some white magic. I wonder whether you really want to do some white magic or whether you, once you've heard the video, you're going to cop out of it. Now, white magic, in my opinion, is wishing sort of blessing upon somebody and wishing good upon somebody. Now, the easiest way to start doing this would be to give a gift to a child. Um, it could be your own child. It needs to be a child um, uh, reasonably young who, who can appreciate a gift but um, um, not old enough to sort of uh, want something like an Xbox or something like that. So I would say some, some child about two or three years old. Um, and uh, if it's your own child you just want to give it a present. If it's somebody else's child um, you want to give it to them just for the idea of giving, not to impress the parents or because you feel you have to give because it's their birthday and, and you're a godparent or, or something like that, but just because you want to wish that child well. And if the child, if you get it right and the child appreciates the gift and his face lights up, you have done some white, some good magic. You've done some magic. It's as easy as that. If you think about um, gift giving in general though, it gets rather complicated. You know, why do we give gifts? You know, there's any number of reasons. Um, and, and there's some stupid things, aren't there? Like on, on the television where they advertise that insurance company, um, something about the market.com, meerkat.com, and you get a free meerkat toy as a gift. Well, that isn't really free, is it? Because you're paying for it. It's, um, I'd say that's not really white magic in my opinion. That's more like black magic. Um, because there's a sort of con being involved. Why are they giving the gift? So you, you may think that's rather trivial, sort of saying that that's uh, not very good use of gift giving. But um, what about Saudi arms? Saudi princes who give gifts to arms dealers or to government officials or to other members of the royal family um, so as these arms deals are done. Or, uh, you know, we're getting a bit more serious there, you know, the power of the giving of a gift. There, there's great power in this giving of a gift. Um, a, 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 so that would be sort of bad magic, but say good magic would be a good example of good magic would be when somebody um, get, has a court case and they get fined a large amount of money and then it's, it seems obvious that the court has got it wrong and and, and, and then somebody somebody else will pay the fine for them. Um, and, uh, and they'll be off, you know, the person who was convicted will be free from that fine. Uh, that that um, could be a, an example of, um, of good white magic, couldn't it? Um, a sort of selfless thing. Um, so, so, so one needs to um, identify one's motives uh, in all these things. If you, if you, really, if you really want to follow the right-hand path, the path of, of the good, you know, why are you doing this? Know yourself, you know, that's the, that's the, um, some might say that's the purpose of life, to know yourself, know your reasons and uh, your motives. And uh, if you can be selfless about things, that's all right, but if you're not selfless, it doesn't matter. You know, it's not the end of the world. We are selves, we're beings, you know, and, and we've got to look after ourselves. And, and you've got to expect that one is going to be selfish to a certain extent. You know, you, um, it's unlikely that anybody's going to be totally pure. And even if they try to be, um, they'll make mistakes. Right, bye for now.